Hi there. Hi, I'm Carla Cottontail, and um, I'm, I'm here at Tamarack Nature Center. You know, they have lots of big space for animals and plants and stuff. And um, I heard that all of you wanted to hear about some of animals' antics. You know, all the funny, crazy, awesome stuff that we animals do, because we do a lot of it, right? Oh, so I've got a couple. Um, now, I bet this is going to, this might make you go, ew, you wouldn't believe it, but ew, sometimes I even eat my own poo, or scat, of course, the naturalists say scat. Why would I do such a crazy thing? Well, it's because... I don't get enough nutrition out of those ends of those branches and things like that. They just don't have enough nutrition, so I have to eat it over to get more nutrition out again. Recycle, reuse. <laughs> also, I have these awesome ears, and I can move one at a time. And I've got these big thumping back legs. Sometimes I thump my feet loud to let the other rabbits know there might be danger near. Oh, speaking of, oh, speaking of danger, I think I smell, I think I smell a wolf or, or a canine. I gotta go. Bye. Yup, yup. There was definitely a rabbit here. It, it went, oh, not that way. Yup, it was right here. Oh, hey, hey, hello, I am Walter the Wolf. Oh my gosh. Well, there was a rabbit here. What were they doing? <laughs> oh, I wish I would have gotten here sooner. I do like to eat rascally rabbits. Huh. Well, hey, I heard that this week some of the animals were doing special features to tell you about some of the cool stuff that we animals do. Well, I do something that's kind of crazy. Or at least you think it's crazy. I scent mark. I don't like go drop pennies and cents around everywhere. Ha ha ha. I go pee on stuff. Why in the world would some animal go pee on stuff? Well, I want to mark my territory. I want to mark where I go and what belongs to me so the other animals can sniff it and know where I've been. I also do something else pretty cool, kind of crazy. It has to do with the winter. Think back to the cool, cold winter. Brr. I've got this awesome fur, check it out. I've got fur almost over all of my body except my nose, my schnoz. It gets really cold on those January nights, so this is what I do. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you couldn't understand me. How rude, sorry. I curl up in a ball, I wrap my scarf-like tail around me, and cover up my nose. It helps so much. So we animals do some crazy stuff, but I gotta go follow that rabbit, see if I can join it for lunch. Ha ha ha, if you know what I mean. Bye. Not that way. Oh, this way. Oh, 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 hey, hi, I did not know that we were going to have guests today. Whew. I'm always so excited to have guests. It's been a little empty around here. Oh, well, I, huh, huh, I'm, I, I'm Scamper the Squirrel. I don't know if you've met me before, but we squirrels are awesome. And I heard from maybe one of the rabbits that... You wanted to know some of those crazy antics that we do. Um, I don't know about antics. I know we have ants, and I know we have ticks, but I don't really know what an antic is. But I do cool stuff. So one thing is I have this really awesome tail. Want to see? It's as long as I am, and I use it for lots of cool things. I shake it around. To, to communicate with other squirrels. I use it like a blanket. I use it as a blanket to stay warm. If it's raining outside, I bring it over my head like an umbrella. 
and it helps me balance when I'm going up over branches and jumping from thing to thing. I fling it this way and that way and this way and that way to help me balance so I don't fall down so much because it kind of hurts to fall a long ways. So I've got a super duper awesome tail. If I lost my tail, I would be so sad. Huh. Well, those are just a couple of my animal antics, but I got to go find some things to eat because, my goodness, there's a lot of seeds and food out here. I'm going to go check it out. See ya! What in the world? What is going on? What is all this noise about anyway? The, even the ground is shaking from all of this excitement and craziness. Huh. I am Christy. I'm Christy the Cricket, you know? Well, hey, us, us bugs don't, don't get as much attention, but I wanted to tell you some of the cool things about us crickets. I mean, if I was a bright, colorful dragonfly or a bright uh, butterfly or something, I might get the attention, but us crickets, camouflage, nope, no attention. Except when I show you this. What do you think that's for? Do you think I'm gonna poke ya? You think I'm gonna sting ya? It's a big stinger? No, you crazy. It is not. It is for something much, much, much more important. It is for, da da da, wait for it, wait. Egg laying. Oh yeah, laying eggs. We crickets. We can't survive all winter long, and we don't overwinter. So, before the fall hits and the frost, know what we do? We found a nice patch of sand, and we poke in our ovipositor, poke it in, and lay the eggs. And then those eggs stay underground all winter long, and in the spring when the sand gets warm, they turn into baby crickets. It's so adorable. <gasps> oh, hey, there's something else I do. How do you talk? Oh yeah, with that big flappy mouth of yours? I don't talk with my mouth, I talk with my legs. Ha! I take my legs and I rub my back legs together and I make noise. You hear it at night? We make beautiful noises. Well, us insects and animals, we do lots of cool and crazy things that I think you're gonna learn more about this week. And you better learn to do some crazy things with your bodies too so you don't get bored. I will see you later. I gotta get moving. Bye! Hello, I'm Shannon here at Tamarack Nature Center. And we just learned a lot of cool stuff about some animal antics. So right now I have a couple of guests here to help us learn a little bit about rabbit antics. Now, these are not, obviously not wild rabbits. These are my pet rabbits. This is Capriccio. The other one is Gracie. And they are Dutch bunnies. They're black and white Dutch bunnies. The rabbits, the wild rabbits that you would see around in your neighborhood are called Eastern Cottontail rabbits. They are a very different color. They're kind of a mottled brown color that helps them blend in with their surroundings. Much better camouflage than black and white. Black and white around here sticks out quite a bit. So these bunnies are not well adapted for living outside in the wild, but they are pretty well adapted for living in my living room. So these guys have a lot of really fun behaviors. Hopefully they will show us some today, but their behaviors are very similar to wild rabbits. Uh, they behave in a lot the same way. One of the most common rabbit behaviors that you'll see is the nose twitch. Uh, Capriccio's nose is twitching fairly slowly right now. You can tell their mood by their nose twitch. If they're anxious or afraid or just really curious and interested in what's going on around them, their nose will twitch really fast. So earlier, when I put them down in this new spot, their noses were really going and they were really checking things out. He's very calm now. You can tell, this is what we call a jelly bean right here. Um, 
when he's kind of curled up, his ears are laid back, his nose is twitching very slowly right now because he's very calm. He's not worried about anything. Oh, he just heard something and he's going to get up and check it out. So the twitchy nose, also there's some evidence that it maybe brings extra air into their nose to help them smell their surroundings. That's very important for a rabbit, especially a wild rabbit. They are the bottom of the food chain. So they need to know what's around them. They need to know where the predators are. They need to know what's going on. And they have a very sensitive sense of smell and that helps them know that. Uh, right now he's kind of grooming himself. Rabbits groom similar to cats, actually. They will... Um, groom their ears, they'll groom their feet, they'll groom each other. So that's a really big behavior that rabbits do. They kind of keep each other clean. They're very, very clean animals. Um, they also, when they were here earlier, they were doing a lot of, like now they're calm, they're just chilling. Uh, before they were going up on their back legs a lot and looking around. They'll do that in a new surroundings or if they sense some sort of danger, if they're anxious or nervous about something, they'll go up on their back legs and look around. That just helps improve the view. They've got these really big eyes and they've got a pretty good sense of sight, but they're kind of low to the ground. So if they can stand up on their legs and get up, then that helps them to see what's going on around them. Rabbits of all sorts also like to chew, so that's why I brought along some cardboard with me today because they like to chew on cardboard. But they are in a group of animals called legomorphs. And legomorphs have incisors that constantly grow. They never stop growing. So if they don't chew, their teeth will get too long and that causes all sorts of problems. Out in the wild, obviously there's no cardboard, but rabbits will chew on sticks and twigs. These guys also like sticks and twigs. Uh, I'll bring them some twigs to chew on. They love it. Um, they also like to dig. They've got big sharp claws on their feet and wild rabbits will burrow. So they live in burrows underground. They're very good diggers. If you have a shed or some other thing in your yard, you might have rabbits living underneath it. It's one of their favorite places to go. You can also tell their mood by their ears. So Capriccio's ears were down earlier. Now they're up. He heard something that interested him. Um, they can swivel their ears. They can turn them all different directions. I don't know if I can make him do it. Not really, but they can, he can get his ear all the way forward like this one. He can also get his ear all the way back. He's not doing it, but he can turn it all the way to the back. So they can swivel. He's kind of doing it right now. They can swivel so that they can hear all around him. So between their sense of smell and their sense of hearing, they pretty much always know what's going on around them. And otherwise, they're pretty calm right now when they curl up like this it's a sign that they're calm. They also like to play and wild rabbits will play too, although we don't normally see them playing because wild rabbits are kind of always have to be paying attention to what's going on around them. But when they are playing, they will do something called a binky and they jump like straight up in the air and a lot of times they'll twist and turn and then they'll just zoom around the room. Uh, it's quite funny to watch actually. It's a uh, but they have to be, they have to be like super happy to do that. They have to be in a really good mood. These guys are still a little bit unsure because they're in a new spot. So I'm not sure if they will do that for you today, but uh, it's really fun to watch. If we can get it on video, we will do that. So rabbits, super fun. You have them in your yard, I'm almost sure, or somewhere around in your neighborhood. Cottontails are everywhere. They can live just about anywhere. They especially like places that are kind of shrubby. If you have gardens around in your neighborhood, uh, then you have rabbits. Their favorite time of day is right away early in the morning. Uh, they are very, very active right around sunrise and early in the morning. And then they'll come out again later in the evening, like right before sunset. We call that crepuscular. If you like big words, rabbits are crepuscular. They come out in the mornings and the evenings. So get yourself out at those times of the day. Look around your neighborhood. There's almost assuredly cottontails around for you to watch. If you stay tuned to our Facebook page later this week, Stacy and I are going to be coming at you with some animal obstacle course activities that you can do right at your own house. So I will see you later.